Chad Weberhowitz joins us now for the Trader Rundown. He always has a smile on his face. So thanks so much for coming on the show. Always great to be here. What's up? A lot of people are talking about the VIX. Now we saw a big collapse in the VIX this week. Is that a signal that the market has put in any kind of a low here, do you think? It could be. I mean, the, the commercials have been massively short the VIX, which means banks and everybody else, which means they think there's a rally coming. We've had a nice rally, and and again, I think it's I think it's probably the rally is probably a little bit overdone, but again, I think that we have seen a, a, a certainly a change at the bottom, as we were in a downtrend for about four or five or six weeks. We have now broken above that downtrend, so now even as a trader, I would look for a spot to buy and support on a pullback. But I think we've probably overdone a little bit. The VIX is down to the lower end of its channel, so there's a lot of things that here that would lead you to believe there might be a short-term sell-off. But again, we're not as bearish as we were because the markets have actually broken back above that major resistance. Schlumberger, one of the companies reporting. The slob. That's what they call it. SLB. That is true. That, that's true. I talk traded for you. that in 1980. The and what, slab. <laughs> what do you think about it in 2018? Earnings and earnings. And I know that there's a big call ratio. They're buying more calls. I can't be a buyer up here. To me, if I were going to trade it, I would only be a seller. And I'm not really going to trade it. it. It is obviously related to oil. But I think it's ran too far too fast. Again, like many of the other things have had recently. So I'm going to stay on the sidelines, but I would like to look for a spot to sell it. And not because I don't like the company, but because I think I can make money for a quick turn back to the short side. Because it's just too hot. If you see a chart, if you watch a chart and you see it going like this, that move cannot be sustained. It's a mathematical impossibility. True markets go to about a 45 degree angle. So when you start to see these big spikes, which we call a blow off in the business, those are opportunities either to get out of a position you have or take a new short position if you're if that's the type of trading that you do. But you certainly never want to buy into either a straight up or a straight down move because they're going to revert back to the mean before they make the final move. Thanks so much for the Trader Talk today. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.